Hey guys, welcome back for another bath bomb demo. Okay, so you can tell that this is super cool and creative, and of course that would mean it is from Sweet Shop of Horrors. This is obviously themed like The Nightmare Before Christmas, and it looks like a snow globe. It is so cool. It is scented in white tea and bergamot, and even though this looks like glass, it's plastic, so it's safe to go around your bathtub. Um, the top and the bottom, you can see just like that. Um, come apart. So the bath bomb is actually um, stuck in the top part right here. So I'm just going to take this off and I'll probably just dunk it upside down in the bathtub and let it just kind of um, come out and do its thing like I did her feed me bomb. So um, I think that's what I'll do and we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I can't wait to do it. Um, I've just, I've actually got two of these. Um, if you saw my unboxing, then you saw that I got two, and they're different designs. I took a picture of the other one and put it on Instagram, and I'll try to put it on the screen here in just a second. Um, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to give away the other one, so um, somebody else will get that one. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this one in the water. And if my camera's shaking, y'all, I've had two. I just had two cups of coffee. So anyway, um, I'm sorry about that. But anyway, let's get this in the water and see what it looks like. Okay, so all I did was just lift this off the little. Um, bottom part of the tray and I just set it on my counter so I'm just going to turn this upside down like so and put it in the water and we will watch it go if I can hold on to it like so let it get wet for a second I learned that with the cauldrons Um, I might could have popped the whole bath bomb out, but, um, um, I didn't want to risk, um, breaking it or busting it up. So, and I did have somebody on Instagram tell me that they tried to do that and they didn't want to break theirs either because it's in there really, really good. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just do it this way. because I knew that this would work because I've done ones like this before. Or at least this reminded me of the cauldrons. I'm just amazed at how she did this. I really don't know. Didn't really ask her how she did it, but I don't know how she painted this and got it in there that tight. It's kind of like this ship in the bottle concept. <laughs> I don't really know how she did it, but I think it's pretty cool. so neat. Oh, oh, I messed it up. Okay, I think it's okay. It's coming out now. All right. Okay, it's out now. Let's see what it does. All right. Let's show you guys the color of the water. And I'm losing daylight here, so that is really dark, but it's this really, if I get down here, you can see it's a really, um, really pretty light blue. And that has got like lime green on top, which is this color right here.
The water's a little bit brighter than that, but it's definitely, um, it's almost like a neon color, it really is. I thought it would be darker than that, so that's a cool surprise how bright it is. Okay, so this water is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, like a dark aqua. It's just so pretty. I think that you guys can see this true color. It's really pretty. I just did not think that this was going to be this color. I thought that it was going to be, you know, that kind of medium blue. But then that bright neon yellow mixed with that, and then we have this really pretty blue green. Okay, I'm going to turn on the bubbles and see what we got. I don't expect a whole lot because it was small and, um, didn't have any kind of, um, you know, frosting or embellishments or anything like that, but it was funny, so we'll see. Hang on a sec. This watercolor is so, so pretty. situation to explain to you. So I had my kids just come in from, um, before I hopped in the shower to take this bath, come in from being out of town with their dad, and one of them just begged me to take this bath, and of course I couldn't say no. Um, of course this is not a new shop to me, and I knew the bath would be fabulous. So um, what I can tell you is I have already given the tub a quick rinse, but there was no mess whatsoever, and there just isn't from the sweet shop of course it's awesome so i can't really speak to anything really much more than you guys saw um and there wasn't any mess to clean up in the tub so um i really can't say anything really much about the moisture level there wasn't really that much sparkle in it except for what you could see you know painted on the front but i just i know this this was an awesome bath bomb because you could see it and i've had nothing but fabulous fabulous results of course this is one of my favorite companies so anyway um i did have a family member enjoy this bath and hopefully i can get another demo done tonight so that's a plus for you guys so anyway um i wouldn't lie to you and tell you i took the bath if i didn't but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this demo i thought this was a really cool uh, bath bomb really unique and I do have another one to give away. So um, hopefully I'll be able to do a giveaway in a couple weeks for you guys. But anyway, thanks for joining me. And I will have all of Sweet Shop of Horrors links listed down below. See you guys later. Bye-bye.